Hey everyone, Jason Shepard here of M0A.com. I've got some big news to share. The FAA is getting rid of the PTS. They're actually moving to something called the ACS, Airman Certification Standards. Now, what does this mean to you? Now, this is something the FAA, in their mind, they're gonna try to implement by fall of this year, fall of 2015. I personally believe it'll be more like 20, you know, the beginning of 2016, but regardless, their goal is fall of 2015. What does this mean for you? Well, I've been filtering through all this gobbledygook all week to kind of figure out what it means for you. And I personally believe it's a good initiative. At least on paper, it all sounds good. Now, how the FAA actually implements it is another story. Now, you guys might remember, longtime M0A.com fans remember that when we called the change in the FAA written test about a year ago to the date, and sure enough, just now, they're starting to roll out those new FAA written changes. Well, those changes are gonna continue to happen with us getting rid of the PTS and moving to this ACS, Airman Certification Standards. Here's what it really means. Remember in your PTS, those special emphasis areas, runway incursions, wire strike avoidance, all these things, and they just give you, hey, this is a special emphasis area, it's called runway incursions, you're gonna be quizzed on it. And that's all the information they give you. What they're gonna do now is they're gonna take that special emphasis area, like runway incursions, and they're gonna work it into context. Um, not quite like scenario-based training, but they're going to work it into context. What do runway incursions mean to me as a private pilot? So they're going to work that in. Another big change that I'm really happy about, for those of you that have taken an FAA written test, you know I always tell you to look at the subject codes um, on the written test where it shows which questions you got wrong in relation to those subject codes. Well, those subject codes were kind of arbitrary up until, well, hopefully fall of 2015, when those subject codes will actually coincide with an ACS item, meaning that when they see, you know, uh, you know, PTL1, whatever the subject code's gonna be, you can go into the ACS and see, oh, that subject code means runway incursions. There's gonna be an emphasis on runway incursions on your actual check ride. They're trying to gear this all towards making everything in context. They've actually said they're even considering and trying to work into making the written test more real world oriented to better coincide with the check ride. Again, everything sounds good on paper, Let's see now how they implement it. Now, guys who are still training under the PTS, they have not come out and said what the grace period is gonna be from PTS to ACS. 141 schools, what does this mean for my syllabus, my, my TCOs, that sort of stuff? Well, we're still trying to figure out what those grace periods will be. Here's my tip to you. If you're in the middle of your private pilot training, private pilot will be the first one to switch. Uh, beginning of 2016, late 2015, instrument pilot will be till follow after that. If you're in the middle of your training, knock it out now. Plan to get it done before fall of 2015. If you need help, we've got our number one online ground school. We've got the private pilot blueprint. We've got the tools to help you get that certificate done. I encourage you to get it done if you're in the middle of your training based on the PTS standards before we make this switch because we truly don't know what it means just yet. I believe it'll be for the better but we never know sometimes with the FAA. So hopefully this is maybe a, a kick in the bottom to get you moving and keep you moving forward with everything because there's big changes coming. And of course, uh, here at M0A.com, myself and the great team, we're gonna keep you up to date on what those changes mean for you. In the meantime, uh, take action on that. Let's get your private pilot certificate done before they make these changes come the end of 2015. If you have questions about that, myself and the team will be in the comment box below this video uh, on m0a.com to take any questions you guys have. Enjoy the rest of your day, and most importantly, remember that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya.